Model 52 weapons carrier cargo truck, three quarter ton. And all supplies and our men. You see it's got uh, seat rails back there, but it also carried a lot of cargo. So, and like you said, if it has the blue numbers, it was not issued. But you can see the towels are to protect the seats. Yeah, I just keep it. As, I, as you see, I try to keep this place fairly clean. And I know these tires are expensive. I actually have a friend of mine who wants a set of four of those for his tractor. <laughs> but you look back here, and you can see the paint is rather well. <laughs> Because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this is almost a museum quality restoration. It is. All the things I do are museum quality restoration. Okay. Then we have... A WC-13. WC-13. Another weapons carrier. Half ton this time. I don't know. Are you recording this now? Yeah, I'm recording this. Oh, okay. I actually traded it. Yes, it is. Well, I can understand from the pr preservation part to protect it. You know why it would be varnished. Well, it should be painted. Oh, uh, you can't see it. I'll show you what I do. That little piece of plywood is in there because in the Veterans Day parade, I generally haul some veterans mm -hmm. in it and rather than scratch up the floor, I put a little piece of Oh, not a, not a problem. And here is the tank. This Here's is the, the M M24 Chappie. Light tank, and that was a 76 millimeter gun. 75. 75 millimeter. Sherman had the 76. Yeah, so they had a 75 too. 75, but later in the game they went to a 76. Yeah. This is the tank, and you can see these treads. You know, he takes these out and drive gun, it. That 75 millimeter gun. I don't know. You, you, I know you've seen, uh, especially in. Asian theater, they put the 75 millimeter gun in the nose of a B-25. Yes, I saw that. That's the same gun. Whoa. Now, here is the driver's compartment. Yes, sir. And just put that down there. You can see the controls, the throttle, the brake. Now, Doesn't here. Right. You so just pull back on. Yes, the stern lever of the brake. Well, they, don't they have an emergency brake? Nope. Oh, this is the tank driver's hatch. Here's his periscope. For when they are driving down the road with the hatch open, they have a windshield to protect their eyes. Yeah, when, you were, when you were in a column, the stuff in front of you was throwing up dirt on you, and so that little windshield with a windshield wiper on it. Uh huh. Now, what is this catch cover here? Is this? That's just to get the stuff. Just to get in there to get stuff. And then we have flashlights. For many people who don't know, on these headlights here, right above them, those are the uh, blackout, light. blackout lights. So they can drive with the headlights out. And that threw just barely enough light for them to see. And there's also a set to of lights. see who they were running over. Yeah, there's also a set of lights on the back of most military vehicles. So um, when they're driving along, if you see all, is it a three, all three diamonds, you're right at the right uh, distance between the vehicle you in front of you. If you see two, you're too close. If you don't see any diamonds at all, you're too far away. <laughs> now I'm not going to climb up on this thing because I'm messed up. So, but this is the ammunition loading hatch. I under, I believe, Sir? for loading ammunition for the main gun. This is the uh, hatch for loading the main ammunition, main gun ammunition, is that correct? That's actually a pistol port. Pistol port? Yeah. Huh. I mean, I guess you can load ammunition, is there really a pistol port? <laughs> now, what type of engine does this have? 
that has two 500 cubic inch flathead Cadillac engines in them. Woof. Because I know Built by Buick, done by Oldsmobile. All American. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say it was all built by American, I'd say it was all American. Now, this See, is. This is the proper what you should be painting. The olive grab. Yeah. And this is the. This is a model one. Now, this has the white number, so this one's been issued? Yes, sir. Okay, this is the weapons carrier Model 1 cargo truck, one half ton, manufactured by Dodge and Chrysler. I was just wondering what this thing looked like when I got it. Of course, wrong frame, wrong engine. We had to hunt all that down. But this is what the old piece of junk looked like. So you've done a lot of work on it, and this thing looks beautiful. Yeah, actually, I have a mechanic, and I have a body man, but I am the welder. I'm going to show you something in a minute. Uh, Ooh, you, that floorboard in that truck bed. I mean, you know, the whole thing was, was not in the greatest of shape. So it came apart, as you can see, frame all up. the way down, frame up, and uh, <laughs> as we're putting it back, painting it and putting it back together. So it would park. It's sandblasted and painted. Here's the pan uh, right after we got through sandblasting it. Mm -hmm. There's primer. And as it goes back together, a lot of work. You can figure on about two. 2,000 to 2,500 hours on a vehicle like this. Okay. I think actually the guy that built it, we bought a bunch of stuff in Europe and in the past. I think it was seven hours. That stuff. The guy that did that, we had a container come in and more of the stuff in the container was mine than his. So I unloaded here and he came down to pick it up. And you know how in our part of the world, before you get an order, the thing's wet? Mm hmm. I got my. Right, eat out big time by him. You're not taking very good care of my tank. You know, it's not only sweating on the outside, all transmission, everything in it's sweating. You will do a better job. So, spray foam, put bought the boot foam and put it in, and it is air conditioned. It's only air conditioned enough to keep the moisture out. You're just doing humidity you can control. Turn, you can turn them on, and you've got the drain where the drain just drains out the back. It almost like a water hose running. So, Okay. Now this is this one here. Let me get that again. Okay, I'm proud of this because I okay. am a welder. I'm gonna get to show me where my welds are. Oh, I I got really good on sheet metal plate, and I built all new rocker panel. This when we sandblasted it, the mice had been in and the mice pee and all that. It's highly uh, acidic. It looked like Swiss cheese when I got yeah. it. So this has been cut off and reskinned. Can you find my weld? No, I can't. Well, this cab was really bad shape from about here down, so I cut it off and built a new rear cab for it to fill my, find my well. That's the only thing I can do in this operation. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not a body man, but I do well pretty fair. <laughs> well, it's a lot better than I do. Now, on average, how long would it take for just like this, like the truck, not on the half tracks or the tank or anything. How long would a restoration take? 2,000 to 2,500 hours. 2,000 to 2,500 hours. Um, I probably got 2,500 hours in that one because it wasn't as good a shape as it looked like when it was out there in the pasture. Okay. And it's you do almost everything, but you have people who work with you? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, uh, on average, how large is the crew that you use? Is it just like you, two other guys? Two other guys. Two other guys. Okay. And we're going to go over where the work. Probably see, and we're going to go over where the work gets done. Okay. Now, on you have two half tracks here. Yes. Uh, I see that one's got the. Uh, that looks like a siren with the light built into it. it. Yeah, that's not actually proper, but it was on there, so I left it. Okay. Uh, now, Pat, Pat liked the sirens. 
Oh, I know Pat. He did. also did not like half tracks at all because he says just get my boys killed. They think they have a tank and uh, a regular uh, eight millimeter German round shoot right through that half inch plate. Yes, it would. Just regular rifle. Yeah. Okay, now we have front roller for. That's a ditching cr roller. Yes, for di crossing ditches. Uh, there's that's another si siren. Yes. That is actually fun. That, uh, I was going to say, because that looks like the one that was on the ambulance I used to drive in the eyes. That's, that's actually more fun. Okay. And fuel tanks, or gas cans, they're rather. Back, behind the seat. And this is the banded track, uh, half track. They're, these use the banded track, not the link track. No, the, all the half tracks have other track. Yeah. If you want to see track, I've got some over there. I've got, okay. You never have too much track. Now, list of this door. Now this has a panel, I believe, that folds up. Yeah, it's right in front of you. Oh, paint stuck. Oh, I, had, I got to pull it. Now this would panel would go up to protect the driver more. And there is the standard half track, you know, look they would have. But this panel would go down for when they're not in bad areas. And this also slides oh, open and closed. There you go. Um, but this is to help protect the driver from pistol and rifle fire and shrapnel. Right. Okay. Now this metal is not that thick. It's only just a little, about a quarter inch, if that. No, it's about three eighths. About three eighths inch thick. And, you know, that really wouldn't stop a lot of, you know, fire if no. it would. No. But it, it's mostly, this is, you know, for like pistol and shrapnel. That's basically it. Uh, someone, right yeah. Now this has, that's a M2? M3. M3. M2 doesn't have a rear door. Who would want an M2? Hard to get in and out of. <laughs> M3 has no door. Yep, yeah, so easy. Once you you're bumping into there, it's a mine box. Yep. That's where the mines go. Yeah, put the mines in for putting them out. Then we have the back door to go in, the seats. Now these could also have a canvas top on them, correct? Yeah, correct? To give some kind of protection from the elements. Now back then a squad was, I'm trying to remember, a squad was eight, eight. Yeah, eight or nine with the squad leader. And you would have something, you know, squad to one of these vehicles with a driver and a vehicle command. Now this one looks like it's Got the anti-aircraft set up. but then they call it an M16 because they, they put the uh, quad mount drive in the back. Yeah, that's the quad 50 anti-aircrafts. Um, wasn't there one of those, that, one of these that also they put the 20 millimeter? Yeah, they had one with the 20. They had one with the 75. I didn't know about the, the 75. 75. Yeah, I, I knew they had one with the uh, the 20. Actually, by the time they got this thing cracked out World War II, with, there weren't any German airplanes anymore. I mean, they already shot them all up and they went. So they uh, used it a little bit and then it was really used a lot in Korea.